Hello, my name is Talon. Welcome to Old Guy Stuff at Busy Corner Lane. Today we're going to show several techniques for tying a square knot. So I've got shown here with my green and orange paracord. The reason for showing this video is because I need it as an addendum to an earlier video where I was using a square knot technique but you could not see the work because the hands are in the way. And I could not avoid that because I was working up high. I had to have my camera on a tripod and it just didn't work. So you could see most of what I was doing, but you could not see the actual technique for the knot. So let's go around and do this. Okay. The way I've got this one done, I'm going to take it off and I'm going to show this particular technique first. What you need is a loop. Okay, and it doesn't matter how big the loop is, but I'm going to have a loop. So I'm just going to kind of tie this off like this, make a basic loop. Okay. I'm going to use my keychain here as the other side. And here's what's going to happen. I'm going to take my green loop and push it up through my orange loop. And then I'm going to take the end of the orange loop and push it up through my green loop. And then I just pull them apart. And when I do that, I've got a square knot. Okay, so let's show this again. Okay, so I've got my green and my orange. I'm gonna do it with the orange this time. I'm gonna put the orange up through it like this. Then I'm gonna put the green up through the orange. So my green going up through the orange. Like that. And when I pull it apart, I got my square knot. So it doesn't matter which one goes up through the other one first. You just have to be consistent. One side goes through the other, and then you change sides. Okay? So let's go one more time on this. I'll say green up through the orange, and then orange up through the green. And I got my square knot. So let me get set up for the next one. Yeah, my next one's going to require the use of a lark's head. So I'm going to show you how to do a lark's head. This was not intended to be a lark's head video. Just intended to be a video on different ways to do square knots. But, might as well go through the lark's head. Okay, so for a lark's head, you need something that can be a loop. Doesn't have to be tied on the end like this one, but something that can be a loop. And you can either go up or you can go down. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go up. I'm going to bend this around like this so that i got one piece that goes across. And I've got these two loops that are next to each other, okay? Now I'm gonna take a piece of cordage, this green, and I'm just gonna go through it. That's it, okay? Gonna go through it. Now normally, what you're doing a lark's head on is gonna be straight, okay? Like this is straight. But what I need to do is I need to bend this like this. So it's more of a bite. It's just a loop on the green part now. And then this cross piece on the orange, and I'm gonna loosen it up some, so it really sticks out. Cross piece on the orange, it's just gonna go up and off of the orange and more onto the green. So now when I do that, I can pull it and I've got a square knot. So let's do that again. Show you the whole technique. I'll start with the lark's head. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna go up from the bottom, go around, Pinch my finger and thumb together and pull this part down some so it's more sticking out. And I've got two loops just like that sitting next to each other. I take the green and push the green through both loops. Okay. And I don't really need to even let it stay straight. I can just go ahead and take it right here and bend the cross piece of the orange up over the green and I got it. Okay, so that's another way to do this. Okay, so the first way we showed doing it was with a loop, and the second way was with a lark's head. So, let's get the next way. And I'm going to do this with uh, these two colors here. And the concept that we were taught, and I first learned these in Boy Scouts like 50 years ago. Uh, and it was part of the, uh, the camping mirror badge, I believe. Um, you would have the mantra... Left over right, right over left, or opposite. You would say right over left, left over right. Okay, so here's what happens though. Okay, so I'm going to do left over right. Left is my bright color, okay? 
So left over right, and then I just bend it around and come back up with it. So I've got this twisted thing here, okay? So let's go again on that. So my left one is over my right one. I just bend it around, come back up. So now both of them are kind of going up, okay? So that was my left over right. So now I need to do the same thing with right over left. And you'll notice if you use two different colors, you're moving the same color. So I did the bright one. I'm going to do the bright one again. So the bright one or the right side over the left side, bend it around and come up through that hole. And then I'm holding the green sides together, my gray sides together. And when I pull them, I've got a square knot. So let's do that again. So oh, I've got my bright one, that's going to be my left side, and it's going to go over my uh, darker one, which is the right side. Now, so I've got left side over right side, bend it under and come up. Then, right side over left side, so I've got that there, bend it under and come up. So I've got this, I can pull them together. And it's easy to see a lark's head forming here too, by the way. You can easily see that there's a lark's head going to be there. But in this case, I'm just going to pull it over like that. Got a square knot. So let's give one more way, and it's going to involve what happens with paracord bracelets. A lot of people make paracord bracelets, and they look really cool. Um, this one's made with like a dark blue and a light blue, and the light blue's all on the inside, dark blue's all on the outside. Unless I flip it over, and if I flip it over like I take it apart, then I got the dark on the outside and the light on the inside. Okay, this is like that, uh, the one they use in the Mad Max movie, I believe, although I put diamond knots on the end. Um, but I made this one about 20 years ago. Now, what I do with this is I just use it on my shopping bag because where I live, they don't give you shopping bags when you go shopping. It's kind of like a punishment to not have your own shopping bag because they charge you more money to use their shop to use their shopping bag. Okay, I understand about the environment and all that stuff. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying that's what they do. Okay, so to make it easy for us to carry these, I just do this and I hold up my finger and I can walk and then toss it in the basket and then, you know, go about my business. Okay, so here we go. I've got this set up like it's going to be the inside of a paracord bracelet. And I'm going to do a basic overhand knot because when I'm doing this left over right thing, like left over right, and then I bend it and come up. If I come all the way down with it, here's what happens. I have an overhand knot. Okay, that's what happens with that. So I'm going to make an overhand knot around this gray paracord. Okay, so I'm going to start like this. Kind of even it out some. I should have used shorter cord, but I didn't have any. Uh, and I don't want to cut. Okay, so I'm going to one side over the other. Okay, but... Here's the catch. I'm not tying it up above here. I need this cord to go through the knot. So this part goes over and this goes under and like a regular square knot would do, you would come up through the other loop. Okay, so this is the right side going over here, but it's the left side that's actually going over the paracord itself, the, um, the green cord. So the left went over, but the right side started the motion. So the right side started the motion before, so I have to go opposite. So you're always going opposite, okay? So now this is the left. I'm going to go over it here and bring this around here. I'm just going to do a couple more, okay? So I'm going to be just like I did at the beginning, where it's the right side here and the left going over the green. Come around and under the hole, pull it together. Now I go back to the left, right? So a lot of people do paracord bracelets. They're really easy and you can do those paracord bracelets, but you might not realize you know how to do a square knot because paracord bracelets, just a bunch of square knots that's all lined up on another cord. That's it. So what do we work on today? We worked on four different ways to do square knots and how to do it with this because, and I'm about to show you what I did with my earlier project, I did this technique for my square knots on my earlier project. So let me go to the other room. Okay, so on my earlier project today, I was uh, basically did like a paracord bracelet thing, but I attached it around this pull chain on my ceiling fan. So it's just easier to grab it and pull it. 
to turn my fan on and off and change speeds. And it's kind of weird. I didn't realize until earlier that this looks like I'm hanging somebody. So <laughs> strange, but didn't intend that necessarily. Uh, my name is Talon. This is old guy stuff at Busy Quarter Lane. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I hope it's been helpful. Have a great, peaceful, safe, wonderful day, and goodbye.